What's good? What's good? I am back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast. We got a few topics today. Um, before we get started, hit that click now subscribe button in the right hand corner. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, hit that like. Instagram, hit that follow. If you're watching me live on TikTok, hit that follow. Don't forget after the live TikTok um, stream, I will follow anybody that was viewing the uh, feed that. I am not following. Um, Don't forget my podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. If you need online marketing promotions for your product, your brand, your service, or your music, then check out Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. Also, if you're a dog lover, you're a cat lover, you're an animal lover, and you like t-shirts and hoodies like I do, then check out New Litter Apparel at newlitter.com. That's N E W. L-I-T-T-E-R dot com. And for Shizzle, last but not least, I got to shout out DizzleBrand.com. Do your Dizzle. Step into the future. Just add ice. Dizzle on ice. DizzleBrand.com. Check out the website. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and more. I got like dozens of recipes that you can um, mix with your Dizzle. And also, don't forget the audio version of my podcast goes to Spotify Amazon, Apple, Deezer, TuneIn, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Podcast Addict, Podchaser, and much more. You can Google Paul Pickett Podcast. That's P-A-U-L-P-I-C-K-E-T-T Podcast, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and more. I right, uh, before I get started any topics... Let me go over last night's NBA scores. Um, tell you pretty much who won. Brooklyn beat Toronto Raptors 131-129. And what's crazy is Toronto had four players score 23 points or more. But it wasn't enough to beat Patty Mills and Kevin Durant, who's number two on Paul's power picks right now. So, KD, um, yeah, normally any team with 23 points or more, four players that got 23 points in the game or more on one team, nine times out of ten, they're going to win that game, man. But they had to go up against KD. Uh, Warriors waxed the Knicks, and, of course, Steph Curry um, passed Ray Allen, and, and we're gonna that's going to be our first little topic for the day and whatnot. Phoenix beat Portland. What else did you expect? Did you actually expect Portland Trailblazers to beat Phoenix Suns? I sure as hell didn't. And, of course, they canceled or postponed the Detroit Chicago game because of these health and safety protocols and mandates that it got placed. And it's so backwards because apparently Kyrie Irving can't play for the Brooklyn Nets but if – because he can't play home games because he's not vaccinated. But if he was actually to get traded to Philly, apparently he could play as a visitor. That I don't know how that makes any sense to me. Somebody tell me. I don't know. But um, not really to talk about in football except the Monday night game was the Rams beat the Cardinals. And, of course, I picked the Rams beating the Cardinals. And not that I really think the Rams are, like, better than the Cardinals. I just think the Rams would do for a win. All right, just sip some of my root beer. All right, let's get into this. Steph Curry breaks the three-point record of Rihanna. Um, A lot of people be like, yo, man, like, Steph Curry, you know, God bless Steph Curry being the greatest three-point shooter of life. Nah, man. Del Curry blessed him. Like, that's all, all due respect. Both of Del Curry's sons can shoot lights out with the three. They both shoot over 40%. Uh, they're both starting in the NBA on legit teams. Uh, Del Curry was one of the greatest shooters ever. I mean, Del Curry had one of the quickest releases ever. And Ray Allen, who Steph Curry just passed, has Dale Ellis. Dale Curry, and Reggie Miller as the history greatest shooters. And I know Reggie has Steph Curry as the greatest, but I think Reggie's second um, 
greatest three point shooter is uh, the Petrovic dude for the Nets that died. Up, oh, just had a little quick power surge. That's why we got those power surge boxes for when that does happen, you know. Keep the stream going and everything. All right, so we good. So Steph Curry basically passed Ray Allen in such a shorter period of time. And I know Steph Curry changed the game where all they do is jack up threes, jack up threes, jack up threes. But like he's going to take the record like way. It's going to be far out of reach for a little while. I, I, it really is. Because I don't know, like, if I was thinking there was anybody else that could compete with the, the record, like, Clay Thompson, if he doesn't get hurt, he probably is up, could pass, you know, Ray Allen, too. But he, he done, he's he been out for two straight seasons. That's a lot of three points, three pointers that Clay ain't shooting and making, you know. But, um, yeah. Steph's going to take the record far out of reach for a little while. Uh, I know they jack it up threes like crazy, but everybody can't shoot like Steph. Everybody can't shoot like Steph, you know. Maybe if a Kyle Korver, you know, was in this, like, came out the same time Steph Curry did, it wasn't was like a couple, you know, about 10 years earlier, he'd have been good to go. There's a lot of great shooters that would have been great to like, Dale Curry would have got his rocks off in this day and age. Dale Curry would have got his rocks off. Dale Curry would have made even way more money in this day and age. You know? There's a lot of great shit. Mark Price, you know? I mean, he was a he was a Larry Bird this day and age. Would have been shooting way more threes. Way more threes. But, yeah, Steph Curry's going to blow it out of the water for a while. Um, I don't know that anybody will come up and pass him. Like, James Harden starting to fizzle out. Dame Lillard's not looking too good this year. Clay's been hurt for two straight years. And Clay Thompson could easily be the second greatest shooter of all time. I repeat, Clay Thompson could easily be the second greatest shooter of all time. You know, but, yeah, it was – it's a big deal, man. Um Really touched his home base. I know Akron and Golden, and, and Golden State, you know – San Francisco and whatnot, they want to take claims to Steph Curry, or yeah, Steph Curry, but Steph Curry is from North Carolina, man. He's a North Carolina, North Carolinian. He was born and raised, well, he wasn't born in Charlotte, but he was raised in North Carolina. Even Jordan, I mean, he was born in New York, but ask Jordan where he's from. Jordan ain't going to say he's from New York. I mean, he sure as hell didn't buy a New York team, that's for sure. And, you know, you know how they say the heart is where home at, or home is where the heart's at. Either way, but yeah, big deal. Steph Curry passed Ray Allen way shorter period of time. And Steph Curry actually didn't really, his first couple of years, he didn't get a super ton of playing time. He wasn't the man. He had ankle problems like a couple years that they almost thought they didn't know which was going to go, what, what way it was going to go, but I mean, Steph Curry is, I don't know, man. I might literally have to, Steph Curry is top 10 all the time. He's one of the 10 greatest players of all time as far as I'm concerned. I almost want to put him in top five, but it's, it's hard to put him in top five because then you have to put him over Magic Johnson. I can't put him over Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson is the greatest point guard ever. Steph Curry wins one or two more, and without KD at that, yeah, you know, then we're good to go. Um, let's see, what what other topics I got here? Let me get to this Kyle Rittenhouse getting um, suspended off of Instagram again after posting a video of a service dog, you know, and... Like, anybody has a problem with service dogs... F you, man. You get the two middle fingers. That's like the lady in, that was in the restaurant. I don't know if anybody's seen the video. lady was in the restaurant wigging out to my disgust and bring your service dog in here. Um, first of all, the man was blind, and 
she was running her mouth like that, I would have hoped somebody would have knocked her ass out. Because first of all, blind people are off the table. You start talking junk to blind people, a random stranger should, should just be allowed to walk up to you and just punch you in the mouth and knock your ass out. Blind people are off the table. You don't talk shit to blind people. You talk shit to a blind person around me, I'm only five foot four, 150 pounds soaking wet, but you're going to get punched in the mouth. You're going to get punched in the mouth. You hit the ground, you're probably going to get kicked in the head, stopped on a couple times. Blind people are off the table, man. And a lot of people who have service dogs are blind people. And now the guy that was a veteran has a service dog. Why does he have? A, why does he have a service dog? Because like apparently, you know, this lady she she ain't never been to war. She don't know what it's like to see, you know, somebody blown up and a limb come off of their leg or they arm, they arm or you know somebody's head get blown off in front of you or somebody get killed right in front of you. And not saying I do either, but you know until you've seen it happen right in front of you, you don't know what it's like to deal with something like that. You know what I'm saying? And as far as it being disgusted, bringing a dog in a restaurant, no, because first of all, dogs' mouths are cleaner than people's mouths. What's disgusting is kissing the lady that's running her mouth like that. That's what's disgusting. Kissing a woman that, that talks that much shit inside of a public restaurant. And, like, if I was, like, going out to dinner with that chick, I would have left her. But back to the Kyle Rittenhouse thing. Um, yeah, he posts a, a service, a video of a service dog, and Instagram suspends his account. And apparently when he hits him up, they're like, you know, it was a mistake, which is bogus. Which is bogus. It's just censorship. It's just these social media platforms... They got these far left radical views like AOC and Joy Reid and all these other people that don't even, they don't even, none of their views come from a place of common sense. So this is straight censorship. This, even like after his trial was over, there's no, there's no valid reason for you to be suspending his count. There was no valid reason for you to suspend his count during the trial. That was censorship. Because I thought it was called innocent and too proven guilty. But, you know, apparently that's all changed in American society, especially on the far left. You're guilty before, you know, you're guilty even when you're proved, proven innocent. That's the thing. Kyle Ritt, they look at Kyle Rittenhouse like he's guilty when, even when he's proven innocent. It's clearly self-defense. Clearly self-defense. You know, people try to paint him like, oh, he was that angry white man. No, the angry white man were the ones that were attacking him with the skateboard and the one that pointed a gun at him while Kyle Rittenhouse was on his back. You try being on your back and have somebody point a gun at you and see if you feel like your life is threatened. Anybody who's, who, does, who says they don't is a complete idiot. They probably just want to commit suicide anyways. You might as well just get it over with. Somebody puts a gun to you, there, I'm telling you, a little bit of fear comes in, man. And sometimes a lot of fear comes in place. I've had a gun put, put to me before. I've had a gun put to my gut, gut and robbed for all my jewelry. It's not a it's not a fun feeling. It's not nothing to go home and pop the bottle of Dizzle about. It's not nothing to go home and pop the bottle of Dizzle about. It's not. You know? It's not nothing to go and, and bake a cake. Let's go. You know, I just got robbed at gunpoint. Let's go home and bake a cake. Somebody just pointed a gun at me, put a gun in my face, you know. Let's go bake a cake. Yeah, and if somebody points a gun at you and you got a gun too, you know, I mean, you don't, unless you're psychic and you're a mind reader, you can automatically know that they're not going to shoot you. You're a mind reader, which, guess what? There's no such thing. No such thing as a mind reader, you know. There's human lie detector tests. There's people that can that are human lie detector tests, but they're not mind readers. So unless you're a mind reader, when somebody points a gun at you and you automatically are psychic and know that they're not going to shoot you, yeah, sure, don't shoot back. Be an idiot. Get shot first. You know, but yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse getting 
any kind of suspension of ban on social media. I mean, he's sitting there posting a video showing love to his dog, who's like his best friend. And you know what? My dog's like my one of my best friends too. So my dog's got her own TikTok. Matter of fact, if you on TikTok watching me live, follow her at Gia the Dog. Gia the dog. Check her out on TikTok. She's got more followers than I do. Um, let me get to this next topic. Um, i seen this thing about this uh, Patriot Front March. And before I get into this, I'm going to sip some of my beer, my root beer. Hit that click now, subscribe button here on YouTube. Hit that like here on Facebook. Hit that follow on Instagram. If you're watching me live on TikTok, please hit that follow. Don't forget I will follow everybody that's not following me that did. Tune in at any point of this live stream. Patriot Front March. I, I didn't know much about them, but I, I I heard one thing about them when I was hearing the description about them. They, they apparently think that all of America should be just ran by Europeans. Oh, my gosh. He's another bunch of racist morons. Um there, that see, that's the thing. That's the far radical right that I talk about that I can't get with. And, you know, that these are the guys that the far radical left totally hate. And, and I mean, I don't hate these guys because I don't freaking know them personally. But do I agree with their views? Hell to the no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. I mean, it's des- definitely a a white supremacy, European racial view. And not all Europeans are racist and not all Europeans are white supremacists. But they just the fact that they say it should be just like Europeans running the country, you know, Europeans are running countries, their own. They're running European countries. Let Americans run American countries and let Europeans are running their own. They got their own countries. They got European countries and they got Europeans running them. Let the Europeans run those countries. But this idea, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't rock with these Patriot Front March guys. Um, I don't know where they come up with these fairy tale like views in life, these bogus views in life. These far radical right, far radical left. I don't even know where they come with come up with these things. It's like they they got it out of a movie or something or a, a comic book or something. Because you know, I mean, it's just bogus to just think that America should only be run by Europeans. You know, stop it, man. Stop it. Yeah, so this Patriot Front March, um, I mean, it's America, freedom of speech, they got the right to, I mean, I can't, I can't tell nobody how, you know, this idea in America that we're supposed, that we can control how people think, and we're allowed to tell people what to think, and the idea that you can even think you control people, what people think. All human brains are not the same. That's why we're not all alike. We're not all exactly equal. Some people are superior than others. Like I always say, if I was, if we were all equal, I would be six foot nine, 265 pounds. And I'd be dunking on LeBron James, you know? And I'd probably be getting dunked on by LeBron James at that. But yeah, if we were all equal, I'd be, you know, I'd be LeBron James stature. You know, but we're not, you know, some people, we're, we're just not all exactly like, we're not all exactly equal across the board. Some people are equal. Some people do have the same skill sets, you know, but we're not all equal. Um, every brain is not going to think alike. Some people are interested in certain things. I like, I'm a meat eater. I'm a meat and potato guy. You know, I don't like a lot of vegetables. Some people only love vegetables. Are we alike? No. If you only love vegetables and I only love meat, we're nothing alike. We're nothing alike. You know? But um, they're allowed to believe what they want to believe. Is it bullshit? Yeah, it's bullshit. 
it's horseshit that only Europeans should be running America. You know, we're way past that at this point. We're way past that at this point. You know. All right, let me get to my last uh, topic of the day. <laughs> oh, this one is gonna. I'm gonna love this one. It's gonna. It's gonna be fun to do this one. Student loan debt restarts back in February. So, all y'all people that voted for Biden, part of the reason y'all voted for Biden was because of this student loan debt thing he pushed. The student loan debt thing, like, you know. Um, I'm going to give you a, my whole take on it. First of all, you're dumb. You're dumb as a bag of bricks for believing a politician is going to keep his word. That That's the first problem right there. Anybody who thought that he was going to keep his word is dumber than a bag of bricks. No politician fully keeps their word. They always disappoint on things. There's some things that they might keep their word on. Like, did Trump keep his word on that he was going to build that, that wall? Oh, he kept his word and just Biden stopped it before he could finish. But did Trump keep his word on everything? No, no, because no politician keeps their word on everything. A lot of this, a lot of the stuff they throw out there, they know they can't even get done in the first place. You know, so y'all are dumber than a bag of bricks for believing that politicians are going to keep their words anyways. You know, and this is another thing. It's a loan. I mean, are we? Is this is where we get into America, where people don't pay back loans? We're just a bunch of scumbags that can't repay our debts and our loans. I mean, that's what we're looking like. America's looking like the 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 land of scumbags who can't pay back debts. America as a whole is in debt. We want to sit there and have all this student loan just wiped out, you know, because. Some people didn't have rich parents and some people had to get loans. Well, guess what? Some people can't even get student loans and they don't got rich parents. What about them? Do they just get a free ride? No, they're not getting a free ride to, to college or nothing. Their opportunity is over with. It's done with. You know, when somebody loans you some money as an adult, it's your responsibility to pay it back. If not, if, 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 I loan you a bunch of money. If I loan you thousands of dollars and you don't pay it back, you are a complete scumbag. You're a scumbag of a human being. If I loan you thousands of dollars and you can't pay me back. So if I don't care who it is, if it's anybody loans you money, if it's the government, it's not the government. And you can't, you just refuse to pay it back. You're just a complete scumbag. I got hit by a car dislocated my shoulder, broke every toe of my foot, broke my femur. You best believe I am paying back my doctor every single penny for putting me back together. Because I'm not a scumbag. I'm in debt with my doctor. I'm in debt with him right now. This guy fixed my life. My life could be a living hell right now. I could be in living hell right now. I could I'm not be able to walk again. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't go from physical therapy or nothing. The doctor put me back together, and that's all I needed. My willpower, my ambition did the rest. And I make sure I pay my doctor bill every single month because I'm in debt with this man. I'm in debt with this man. And I'd be a complete scumbag if I just say screw him. So... That's why I think about student loans, just people thinking they should just be wiped out. Well, yeah, okay. If y'all just wanna if you if y'all just wanna be a bunch of scumbags in the world, then that's that's fine. Cause that's that's what it is when you sitting there thinking that you you blatantly just saying, I'm not gonna pay back a debt I owe. That's scumbag stuff, man. That's scumbag. You're not a man of your word, you're not a woman of your word. You ain't got you, you ain't got no honesty in your life, no credibility, you know. Yeah. 
Yep. Got to pay back debts. You know, if you don't even attempt to pay back debts, I mean, what are we talking about here? You're just come back. You got to at least tempt it. You got to make an effort. And, you know, that's all that they're saying when they want to wipe out all this. We don't even want to make an effort because we're just a bunch of scumbags that get loans and aren't men or women of our words or whatever, whatever, whatever y'all call yourselves nowadays. He, she's, they's, them's, I don't care what it is. If you just blatantly say, screw paying back a debt that you owe, you're a scumbag. I mean, there's no other thing, there's no other word to call you. We're not going to call you an honest human being. We're not going to call you a man of your word. We're not going to call you decent. We're not going to call you credible. You know? So, yeah, y'all crybabies, um, you got the loan, you owe the debt, pay your debts, you know? And, and my thing is, a lot of y'all made excuses during COVID. Like, this, all this came during COVID. Like, oh, we can't make money, we can't go to work. See, this is, that's excuse, that's excuse, that's excuse. Because during COVID... I made more money during the year of COVID than the year before, you know, because I work from home, I'm self-employed, and I get up every single day of my life and attempt to make money. Most of y'all, y'all only attempt to make money 40 hours a week, five days a week. Getting money is a seven-day-a-week thing, man. Y'all go into that religious BS, believing that God would even tell somebody to not make money on Sunday. No real God would tell you to not make money on Sunday. People out here struggling in the world. And God's like, oh, God, you know what? You made enough money five days a week. You barely got by. could barely pay your bills. Screw it. Take off Sunday. No, man. You better get over. You better get over. Work seven days. I work seven days a week, 365 days. Birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, holidays. If, if orders are coming in, I am working. I am processing orders. But when you go into this mindset of I can only work 40 hours a week and five, and five days a week, what do you expect? You ain't getting no real money. You know, you ain't getting money. You got little kids in the quarters in New York City, seven bottle waters, a dollar a pot, making a hundred dollars a day. They probably work it seven days a week. But that's the thing. Mankind, you know, y'all don't really want to work. Y'all don't really put in work. Y'all only put in work eight hours a day, five days a week. Getting money is a all-day, everyday process in society, in real life. The dudes that are getting, really getting money, are getting money all day, every day. Rappers get money all day, every day. Musicians are getting money all day, every day. Actors are probably getting money all day. Biggest actors probably get money all day, every day. Just because of the streaming of movies. They're probably, like, you got probably actors that get percentages of some of the streams of some of the things. You know, because I think even, um, I think um, um, the uh, Black Widow, she was supposed to get, uh, Scarlett Johansson was supposed to get, like, a percentage of, of the sales of the 30-day, 30 $30 a pop sales. I mean, like, all day, every day. The people that are really getting money. So when you go in this mindset of five days a week, 40 hours a week, yeah, you ain't really get you ain't getting no real money. Because the people that really get money, they're getting it every day. And that's why I'm trying to get money every single day. I might man, I might make out of 365 days of the year, I might not make money. 15 days out the year. Maybe maybe 30 total, depending on like what, what holidays. Like November, December, it, it, it gets slower because everybody's spending money on Thanksgiving and Christmas and, 
and my business musicians are gearing up for the new year. But, you know, 10 months straight out the year, every single day, orders. 10 months straight, because that's my mindset too. It isn't just the fact that I built my business to do that. My mindset every single day is get money, get money, get money. All right, well, that's it. Uh, we talked about the Patriot Front March, which is a bunch of jackasses with some dumb racial European white supremacy view. Um, of course, the Kyle Rittenhouse being banned on Instagram. That's a joke. Steph Curry breaks the three-point record and the student loan debt. I mean, I don't know what y'all was thinking. Man. I don't know what y'all was thinking. That's the problem with America, though. y'all. It, it, we got more free shit than any other country on the planet, and it's still not enough. It's still not enough, man. Y'all got to have everything free. Y'all want free free uh, income where y'all don't got to work. There would be a bunch of, America be a bunch of, everybody be a fat slobs, a bunch of fat slobs. And I don't want to hear about, oh, he's body shaming fat people. Fat people body shame themselves. They should be ashamed of themselves when they look in the mirror. I don't gotta I don't gotta body shame fat people. Trust me, I'm getting a gut from sitting behind a computer chair all the time and get rolls. I am ashamed of it. I am ashamed of this gut. I don't have to body shame nobody. When you look in the mirror, you should be ashamed. If you are overweight, you got a ton of rolls, you are super fat. You should be ashamed. I shouldn't have to shame you. You should be ashamed. It is not attractive. It is not sexy. It is not cute. Cute is a woman that's got a Coke bottle shape. That's sexy. A Coke bottle shape. Not <sighs> voluptuous. You know, they come out with these words voluptuous to make it sound sexier. No. Fat. It's called fat. Rolls. Well, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. This was episode 80. Let me see. Make sure. 88. Episode 88 of the Paul Pickett Podcast. 12 more to go. We're going to hit that 100. We're going to do that big press release. We're going to run that ad campaign for the 100th episode. And I'll be seeing these people, man. They be celebrating like their 10th episode, man. Like 10 episodes. That's like two weeks of episodes. Whoopie do, you know? So we hit a hundred. We been in here working. Come January first, we're gonna be in here working even harder because we're gonna be doing a podcast every single day. That'll mean I'll be live on my TikTok every single day. And of course I've been posting a little bit more on my TikTok. And you know, we're gonna be ramping it up, man. We're gonna ramp up the content. And just keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving, huh? Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget the audio version of my podcast. Go to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, TuneIn, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Podchaser, Podcast Addict, and more. Also, don't forget this podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC at promopalace.biz. If you need online marketing promotions for your music, your product, your brand, or your service, Check out promopalace.biz. If you're a dog lover, you're a cat lover, you're an animal lover, or you're an animal rights activist, and you like t-shirts and hoodies with dogs and cats on them, like I do, check out New Litter Apparel at newlitter.com. We got dozens and dozens of t-shirts with dogs and cats on them, little cute, cute kittens, little cute cats, and mean dogs and cute dogs, and and big dogs, small dogs, medium-sized, all kinds of dogs. You know, on our shirts for the new litter apparel. Also, for Shizzle, before I go, I got to shout out Dizzlebrand.com. Check them out. Dizzlebrand.com. Just add ice. Dizzle on ice. Do your Dizzle. I'm telling you, y'all will love it. It's a mixture of agave, tequila, cognac, orange liquor, mango mix, and lemon. Step into the future. Dizzlebrand. Dot com, do your dizzle. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, more. Hey, we got a TikTok, a Dizzle brand TikTok. Follow them on TikTok as well for that Dizzle brand. And don't forget to follow G and the Dog on TikTok. And of course, 
follow this account as well. Well, that's it. Once again, thanks for tuning in. My name is Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. The Common Sense Podcast, a.k.a. Your source for music, sports, politics, and more. Peace, and I'm out.